Let's solve this problem, 28 dash to Torricelli's law, an enclosed tank containing a liquid of density rho has a hole in its side at a distance y1 from the tank's bottom. The hole is open to the atmosphere, Oh, it's open to the atmosphere. Oh, yeah, the hole is open to the atmosphere. And its diameter is much smaller than the diameter of the tank. Oh, may approximation. The air above the liquid is maintained at some pressure, capital P. Determine the speed of the liquid as it leaves the hole when the liquid's level is at distance H above the hole. So I'll just show you the solution in this problem. Okay, so let me just show you the solution. So let's say, for instance, you have an enclosed tank. And um, this uh, means that this... Uh, um, you have an enclosed tank here with some area, let's say capital A. So parang meron kang, uh, ang tawag ito, tanke ng tubig. Tapos malaki yung tanke, tapos binutasan mo ng maliit na maliit na butas. Uh, we are assuming here that the hole is relatively, it's very, very small, such that um, develop, uh, what you can do here is to make an approximation. So uh, first, and then after that, ano yung ngayon, yung velocity ng flow dun sa water? Uh, ano wrong? Velocity ng flow when it when water flow or when that fluid comes out of this of this hole. So I'm going to first write Bernoulli's equation. Bernoulli's equation is basically this: we have again, um, conservation pressure P1 plus kinetic energy per volume one half instead of mass density rho V1 squared plus potential energy, but it's per volume. So we have instead of m, we have rho G y1 is equal to p2 plus again kinetic energy per volume one of rho v2 squared plus rho g y2 kaya mas alam ko tong method that, kasi naintindihan ko conservation of energy lang yan okay now um since this is a conservation of energy relation may dalawa kang states you need consider to consider two states so let's let's say that state 1 is the quantity is uh happens at the whole uh with um, water flows, water and then second we have um the surface of water inside the tank. Okay, malinaw, malinaw to. Now, okay, identify natin yung mga variables. What's P1? Ano yung P1? Ano yung P1? P1, again, the initial state is this. Yung nasa labas. We're done ng classification, but let's follow this classification. The initial states are at the, at the, at the hole, not at the surface. So what's the initial pressure? What's the initial pressure? That's P0, right? which is the atmospheric pressure. It's technically the atmospheric pressure. And then after that, what is V1? This is to be determined, PBD. Yan yung kailangan natin. Yan yung kailangan natin. And then um, what about Y1? So instead of determining Y1, I just determine y, um, Y2 minus Y1. Because I know that the height difference between the surface and this height here is given by H. Okay, height y2 minus y1 is h. Also, what about p2? What's p2? What's p2? What's the pressure at the surface of the tank? We are assuming that the tank is closed. Therefore, the pressure from here is given, it's given in the problem by some capital P. So this is capital P. Okay, what about v2? What about v2? Okay. Hindi natin alam yung V1, hindi rin natin alam yung V2. Pero, remember, okay, but we know that V1 and V2 are related. By what? Uh, ano yung nagre-relate sa V1 at saka sa V2? Ano nagre-relate sa speed at the surface of the container and sa speed at the, at, at the hole? Ano yung nagre-relate ka equation? Yes, you are related by the continuity equation. Okay, that's A1, V1 equals A2, V2. Now, we can therefore solve for V2. This means that V2 is equal to A1 over A2 times V1. Pero, anong sinasabi sa problem? The problem states that um, the hole is open 
and its diameter is much smaller than the diameter of the tank. Therefore, since A1, since A1 is much less than A2, then ano masasabi natin kay B2? Therefore, it should be very small. And therefore, we can neglect it. V2 approaches zero. We will assume this. That the speed of the surface of the tank is very small. Ano yung interpretation nun? Halos wala, hindi gumagalaw yung surface of the tank. Halos hindi bumababa. Kasi masyadong malaki yung area niya uh, para makonsider yung butas na lumalabas. Sa ng, yung butas na referring to being na lumalabas. Hindi gumagalaw essentially yung, yung top ng tank. Nakuha ah. Nakuha ah. Yes. Gets? Gets yung nangyayari? And therefore, I can now just remove this term here. Okay? And hence, I can rearrange equation 1. Um, rearranging equation... Ay, mga tama nito. Rearranging equation 1. Meron na tayo, so this is equal to zero. Zero lang yan. Um, rearranging equation one, we get something like. You see that? Ano ngayari? So let me just first copy this kasi hindi ko nakikita. Sorry. Um, uh, hindi ko naman siya. Sulat ko na nga lang ulit. E1 plus one half pro V1 squared plus rho g y1 equals p2 plus um, uh, rho g y2. Tapos wala na yung second term. Kasi, di ba, one half rho v2 squared yan. But this becomes zero. So, pwede mong tanggalin yan. And therefore, I can solve for v1. Solving for v1, we see that, um, therefore, one half rho v1 squared is equal to p2 minus P1 plus rho G Y2 minus rho G Y1. Tama? Tama? Yes, sir. Tama? So, this is just equal to, I can factor out my rho G in the second, in the last two terms of the right-hand side of, of, let's say this is equation 2, and say that this means that I have a 1 half rho V1 squared is equal to P2 minus P1 plus rho G quantity Y2 Minus y1. So this is equation 3. Tama? Tama, no? Now, yes, but we know that this is equal to h. Tama? But, uh, and p2 is equal to, um, let's say capital P. P1 is equal to, this is say p naught. And therefore, I have a 1 half rho v1 squared is equal to capital P minus capital P naught plus rho gh and therefore solving um this is equation 4 solving equation uh, solving for v1 hence we see that v1 is simply um a large expression to quantity p minus p naught all over um rho tama plus uh, the rho will cancel kasi ano and therefore i have plus 2 gh um raised to one half equation five. Tama? So this is the final velocity of this of um, the water inside a closed tank. Okay. Now, what if let's consider the case? Of an open tank. What happens when, when the tank is open? Ano mangyayari? What happens kapag open yung tank? So kapag butas yung tank sa taas, ano mangyayari? So meron ka pa rin, syempre ganun pa rin kasi uh, may isa lang na mangyayari. So this is your tank, di ba? So ito yung butas. Tapos bukas yan. Therefore, ano mangyayari sa taas? It will be exposed to the atmosphere. And therefore, what is the pressure um, at the top? Uh, what is the pressure of this fluid here? At the surface? Ano lang? Atmospheric pressure? It's the atmospheric pressure or in that case, this means that P is simply P naught. Diba? Hence, from equation 5, you'll get the same derivation kasi hindi naman nagmamatter kung open or closed uh, kasi fixed yung pressure mo eh. And thus, for an open tank, you get this equation here. V1 is simply square root of 2 dH. This is known as your Torricelli's law. It's only dependent on the height difference between the surface 
and the whole. That's your Tori Chalice law. Di ba pamilya lang sa square root of 2GH na yan? So, from your energy relations. Maalala yan? Yes. Yeah. So, so, that's basically how um, Tori Chalice derived his Tori Chalice law of um, the final velocity of a fluid that uh, for uh, that's coming out of a hole of a certain container that's open. Or, pwede naman hindi open. Basta yung, atmos- yung pressure at the surface is atmospheric pressure. Or same yung pressure nung taas at saka nung putas. Okay? Questions? So, may tanong? Wala. Uh, that's basically, uh, we have derived an expression for your Tori Chalice law. Okay. Sige. 